Okay, so this is actually going to be a two-part video uh, because I can't get all of the information into the five minutes that uh, this free service allows me. So this first uh, video is going to show you how to work with some of the basic features and then the second video is going to show you how you might utilize Weebly to create the order form. So I've already set up my site and I've picked a name for it, sales web page. I know it's, it's very creative and I picked a sort of basic design, uh, really just to allow me uh, the ease at the moment uh, of trying to organize everything. If for some reason you wanted to change the layout, you can go to the design tab um, and then pick all of these different options here. Uh, but I wouldn't worry too much with that at the beginning. Just pick a clean one to start so you don't fight the format. And then if you want to add something different, change from a light to a dark, uh, you can do that later. Um, one of the things that I notice um, in the original um, is that I wanted to hide the home page in the navigation menu. So I click this little box here. Um, if I uncheck it, I just want to show you, it shows up as home, but if I go in and click hide page and navigation menu, it goes away. And because this is only going to be a single page, I don't really need navigation. Um, I just like the clean sort of blank look up here. So that's something that I played around with a little bit. Um, I notice it's gone and it's nice and clean. Um, in terms of using some of these main tabs at the top, Elements allows you to pull in uh, the different features to your page. Uh, the design tab, it, it gives you all those different layouts, but the design options also allows you to change the font. So I think this is a pretty boring standard uh, site title font, so I'm actually going to change it to something a little bit more interesting. Um, I'll pick something nice and bold. Let's go with uh, lobster, uh, something else that I get to use in uh, Slide Rocket as well. I'd like to change the color something maybe gray match um, and oh, that's a mistake and then maybe go something a little bit bigger um, let me go back to lobster so that you can actually read it um, and, and, and so now you see um, but again these are very easy changes uh, that you can make after the fact and you can always go back to the defaults if you want so I'll put them back to the defaults just to, to make it easy so go back to the Elements tab, and what I'd like to do is think about adding in a title to my page, some copy, and then maybe an image. So I might put that information there. Um, pull that down, just click it. You can type, you know, whatever you want to edit. Sample an image, you can upload one from your uh, computer, or if you want to search for one um, using Creative Commons, let's say Gift Basket, see what comes up. Um, you can do professional that you pay for or free photos. I'll click free um, just for fun and let's just say that we want to select this one. I know it's not quite right, but now you've got an image in there. Easily resizable. Uh, just look for the little orange tab at the bottom and then if you wanted to put it maybe on the right hand side as opposed to the center, you can do that. So, I mean, it's very simple to work with. Um, you can sort of play around with it that way. Um, one of the uh, other things that I don't think a lot of people use is this comment, uh, excuse me, columns um, item. I'm just going to put it at the top so you can see it. If you wanted to create areas where, say, you put the image um, somewhere into, you know, one of these areas as opposed to um, just leaving it on its own, you can do things like that and put it in each column, adjust the column or add an additional column if, say, you wanted a picture on the other side. So that's sort of how that works. Um, very easy if you accidentally add something, just click the X, delete it out. There you go, you're gone. Um, multimedia might allow you to do a slideshow if you wanted to pull in multiple images, uh, maybe to showcase all the products that are in it. Um, revenue gives you some product blocks, though you won't actually create um, or set up a, a sales page. Um, but more is actually where you'll see most of what you need. The layout gives you the columns or a divider if you want a nice line that goes all the way across. Um, miscellaneous, if you wanted something that's like a button, you could change the text if you wanted to go, um, you know, visit ASU's webpage. Um, you could create it that way. Um, and also the forms, which is really what I'm going to go into. The forms feature is what you're going to use to create order form. So that should give you a quick overview uh, of some of the items here and uh, the next video will let you know how to work with that order form.